Today, let's learn about seven herbs that can help reduce menstrual cramps, heavy bleeding, and mood swings. So let's get into it. Hello, my YouTube family. It's Naim Nappy, and I'm back with a new series where we discuss herbs that can help with hormone-related issues. And for me, y'all, this one touched me personally because a lot of y'all know I got off birth control recently, and now I'm dealing with some of the same issues I dealt with when I was in high school, like cramps and mood swings. And I wanted to do a little bit more research on some herbs that can benefit all of us. So let's get into the first herb, and that is red raspberry leaf. Now, a lot of you guys have heard of this. It's amazing for women's reproductive health, not just for period issues, but it contains specific alkaloid that it can help reduce menstrual cramps by relaxing the tightening of the uterine and pelvic muscles. It's also rich in vitamins B, vitamin C, and iron, which y'all know I'm iron anemic. So this is really important to take, especially around your menstrual cycle. Um, you can do, you can use this herb by drinking it as a tea. You want to add one tablespoon to about eight ounces of water, and you want to drink this tea three times a day especially when you are on your cycle the next herb is yarrow and yarrow is wonderful for helping to promote healthy blood circulation and to reduce some heavy menstrual flow it also has antispasmodic and anti-inflammatory properties which are great for helping to release again those menstrual cramps and if you have heavy bleeding or really long and painful periods, yarrow is also said to help reduce and stop heavy bleeding. And again, you'll need about one eighth of a cup or two tablespoons of yarrow. You can make it in a tea and drink it two to three times a day. Now I do want to pause here because I didn't say this in the beginning of the video, but before you start any herbal treatments, please talk with your doctor for taking any herbal medicine. Um, some herbs can have implications when it comes to other medications that you may be taking. So always as a precaution, please speak with your doctor first okay the next herb we're going to discuss is turmeric and the powerful component in turmeric is called curcumin and it's a powerful antioxidant and is shown to help lower inflammation in your body as we know inflammation is one of the leading causes to pain and it's also said to help improve your mood as well as soothe your intestines as we know sometimes when it's that time of the month we also have other issues related to our bowels so how much turmeric should you take you can use about 500 milligrams of turmeric you could make what they call golden milk using turmeric. I put the recipe right here. Also, you want to note when you use turmeric, you always want to use black pepper because it helps it to absorb better. Uh, turmeric is also the base for a lot of curries. So if you want to eat your wonderful curry dishes, I'll also link a recipe for you guys up here of a, of a great and easy curry. So these are some ways to get that in your diet, especially around that time of the month. The next herb you guys have heard me speak of many times, and that's ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is an adaptogenic herb, which means it helps your body to manage and lower stress, which is really important, especially if you have lots of mood swings around your period. It helps to reduce that stress hormone cortisol, which can lead to other things and make cramps worse. You want to drink this as a tea one to three times a day, or you can use a capsule one to three times a day as well. So the next two herbs actually were done in a study together, but I'll discuss them separately and then talk about some of their properties together used in this one study. So the first herb is Indian frankincense and it's used to help reduce pain and helps to lower inflammation in your body. It also can help reduce cramps and can soothe your intestines and help stop headaches which is really powerful. And the other herb was ginger, and ginger is also said to contain anti-inflammatory properties and to relieve menstrual pain, um, reduce bloating, fatigue, and nausea. It's also said to help reduce heavy bleeding during menstruation. Um, it could be used as a tea. You can grate it up in a pan and use it as a tea. You could also make a tincture out of this, or you can cut it up and eat it in your food or you could take ginger capsules around that time of the month. And again, you wanna be taking this at least three times a day. And in particular, the study that I'm talking about, they use frankincense and ginger. They use 300 milligrams twice a day for the duration of the period. And they experienced um, a shorter duration of the period as well as decrease in the amount of bleeding. So some powerful effects by using those two herbs. Now the last herb we're gonna to discuss today is green tea. And green tea we know has many catechins which contain powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. We know ECGC is one of the properties found in green tea. So this component is said to help improve energy, mental clarity, and general health. Now if you're like me and maybe you struggle with processing caffeine like I do, um, make sure you get the decaffeinated green tea that still contains the EGCG. They usually do it in a CO2 process where they just remove the caffeine and leave the wonderful antioxidant properties found in that particular catechin. 
So you guys, let me know which herb or combination of herbs you would be willing to try. For me, y'all, I'm about to go brew a tea with red raspberry leaf, ginger, green tea, yarrow, pretty much all the herbs that have those wonderful properties. So let me know down below which herbs you've tried or are willing to try to help release some of your menstrual symptoms. But that's it for this week. Stay tuned for next week as we delve into more herbs that can deal with hormonal related issues. Check out my previous video I did on herbs that can help deal with menopausal issues in this video right here. But that's it for this week. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.